yeah, good. Body feels really good. Um, yeah, happy to just yeah, happy to get the win more than anything. It was a really, really exciting night for me. One of the most enjoyable games I've ever played. Nice to just get out there and, and obviously for scorches, obviously, but for your own sake. Yeah, it was. It was quite. Um, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't too nervous. I was more yeah, just relaxed and you know, just happy to be back out there and um, yeah, just really enjoyed the night. Do you feel, are you feeling any ill effects of the injury at all or do you feel like you, you're 100% fit? Yeah, I feel like I'm 100% fit. Still, um, yeah, probably going to monitor how much I bowl. Probably only going to bowl you know, four, five, six overs. Uh, no more than that in a day because um, I'm only playing 2020 for the, for the rest of the season. But in terms of um, you know, pain or anything, there's, there's zero there. And your pace, I mean, lots has been spoken about your pace, you know, how do you feel that's going? Yeah, not too bad. I was, yeah, had no idea what I was going to be last night. Um, and I think, yeah, I was, I was round about where I, um, yeah, not too far off where I was, you know, a year or so ago. So um, pretty encouraging. And I think, yeah, it's only going to get better and better as I play more. I know Mitch Johnson says now he doesn't even worry about the speed gun at all. Is that how you go into games? Not thinking about it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, in 2020, I think accuracy is probably, um, you know, more important than, um, pace, so yeah, my, my main aim was just to be accurate and, and uh, just ex- execute what I wanted to execute. Have you mapped out uh, how you'd like to progress over the next few months? Yeah, first of all, finish off with the Scorchers campaign. Um, yeah, I think with the side we got, we can go really deep into the finals and then um, yeah, just see what happens after that. Probably play a little bit of grey cricket back in Sydney and uh, hopefully 2020. So, um, World T20 um, over in Bangladesh is a massive goal for me. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can. Um, yeah, bowl well and try and get a spot in there. You're competing for a lot of spots uh, as well. You, you, realistic goal? Yeah, I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, I'll have to play a couple more games and, and try and earn that spot. But yeah, there's certainly a lot of players that are going really well in, in all the teams and you know, especially a few boys here in, for Scorchers. Just with the Scorchers, what, your future with the Scorchers? Do you feel like you sort of you want to continue on past this year? I think you're out of contract after this season. Do you feel like you want to come back and play again or you haven't thought too much about it yet? Yeah, I haven't thought about it at all, but it's uh, it's a great bunch of blokes and I love coming over here for Perth. Um, and yeah, as I said, great bunch of blokes, staff, everyone's um, been brilliant. So yeah, hopefully. Working with Dennis Lilly obviously is a big plus over this side of the country. Yeah, DK, being able to work with him is priceless and um, being able to bowl at the Wacker as well is, um, you know, it's worth spots to bowl. Can't we spoke about the selection headaches Uh, well, it wasn't until now, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the boys have been doing brilliantly. Um, you know, Jason Berendorf up front and uh, you know, Arafat, the spinners, everyone's you know doing their job really well. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say you know if Colts comes back in, it's only going to strengthen the side. So it's going to be a, give the um, selectors and coach a bit more of a headache. And you had a really even spread of wicket takers last night. Is that pleasing as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, I think that's the, probably been the key with all our games. It's not just you know one person taking all the wickets. It's everyone chipping in and, and doing their job. Did you have a word to Hilton Cartwright? Because you might have had two wickets. <laughs> we t- he took the second catch, which was uh, a phenomenal catch. It went so high. It was so windy out there. It's um, he made it look really easy, but it was uh, yeah, it was a great catch.